Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to create a Google form on your PC or your laptop. This will be a step by step explanation where I will be explaining you that how you can create a Google form, then how you can send to other people and how you can check the responses. So make sure that you watch the video till the end. And if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's absolutely free like the video and share with your friends and family so what you have to do you have to open your google chrome browser and make sure you are logged in with your google account through which you want to create a form and on the very right in top you will see this nine dot icon of google apps click on it and from the icon here scroll down to the bottom and you have to look for forms click on it now here you will see some kind of templates and it will be category wise like for contact information rsvp party invite t-shirt sign up event registration this can be anything if you click on the template gallery so you will see the category wise like you can go with personal templates here then for work and then for education so if you want to use for your school or classroom you can go with these templates all right, so the templates one are easy, but I will be explaining you that how you have to create from the scratch. So here on the top, you will find blank with the plus icon, click on it. And now on the top, you will find untitled form. So what you have to do, you just need to give a name that for what purpose you are creating this form. So for example, I just take it like I am uh, organizing a free classes so I can just name it like join my free class. Then below that you will find form description. So you can give, give some kind of description so that the people uh, whom you will share with, they can read it and know more about it. So let's say that join my free. Okay, now after that, you will see the untitled questions here. You have to click on the box and you have to name it so whatever question you have to ask so depending that it's a survey form it's an event form whatever it is accordingly you have to create a question so the first one for example i say are you currently working okay so this is my first question and now depending on your question you have to create the answer so on the very right hand side you will see the multiple choice so it's by default it's been set to multiple choice which means people can answer in yes no so you are giving them the options so are you currently working my question suits to this option where i want that people should answer by yes or by no or part time all right so i will go with this multiple choice only there are multiple many more options here that i will be explaining you after this so the first option i keep it like yes then i click the second option as no the third option i put like maybe or part time so i just put part time all right that's enough i just want these three questions now after that there is an option of required if you want that people should must answer this question then you can keep this as required and whoever just visit your form they will have to answer this question all right so i keep this to required and after that you have to click on the plus icon to add one more section so now we have to create one more question and now this answer this question cannot be answered in yes or no so it won't be uh, the you know like the multi choices and by default you can see that whenever you type your question on the right hand side it automatically detect that what is the perfect choice for the answer so the paragraph will be perfect because people can clearly write on it so that's good for here okay they can write log answer text so that's absolutely fine then i click on the plus icon again i go with one more question so again you can see the answer should be by yes or no but and it automatically took to multiple choice but for explanation i will show some more options here like you can go with short answer where they can give a short answer then you have check boxes if you want some check boxes you can create that 
then you have drop down if you want to create something some information that should be in the drop down you can go with that option all right then i would like to go with multiple choice here so i just keep it like yes and no i hope so that you go with yes because i know you will subscribe it all right so now once you are done you on the very right and top you will see this eye icon that is for the preview so if i click on it i can see that how the form will look like all right so this is how the form will look like and you can see there is a red little star which we put in the required section which means someone whoever comes to this form they have to answer this question all right so once you are done you can click on submit and it says your response has been recorded okay this this will be the response and then you can come back and here in the responses you can check the response all right now there are many more things that you can do like again on the very right hand top you will see customize theme and from here you can just choose some kind of image to make it more attractive so i click on choose image and you can take any image from here let's say if i want to go with this one i click on insert and you will see that on the top it has been inserted now the, there are color option if you want to change the color of this one then you can change the color if you want to change the background color so below you will find background you can change the background color okay so depending that what you want to do you can do it from here now once you have created you have to click on send and now you have the options here that how you can send this google form so either you can send through the uh, email so if you have few email then you can manually type it here and then you can change the subject or message if you want to and then you can check this option include form and email if you want to do this you can go with this option the second option is you can go with the link that is more suitable because most of the people use it who want to share it on any specific group or if you want to share on your youtube channel then you can click on this short in url and the link will be shortened then you can click on copy and now you can paste it anywhere you can paste on uh, email you can insert with the email you can share in any group you can share like uh, type in the description of your youtube or instagram wherever you want to all right so the other few options i can check here like the facebook you can directly share to your facebook and you can also send to twitter all right so once you have sent it again you can come back here and in the responses you can check the responses that how many people are uh, responded with what kind of answer all right so hopefully guys this video was helpful for you and if you still have any questions let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe for more related videos in the future thank you so much